How does that catch that they had double coverage rank among the ones you've seen from his time here? I think that was the best catch I've seen they have since I've been here. The most proud I've been to, to have him as my teammate. I threw it, what looked like double coverage, and I was expecting you know, them to make a play on the ball, but Zay just went up and he wanted it more. And he just grabbed it right off of that guy. That was a touchdown. That was, that was the best play I've seen from him. So what happened on that? Uh, it looked like a backward lateral to us. You were trying to make a play there, obviously. Did you just explain what happened there? Were you, did you think someone was in the area and you threw it out there? Or was it just one of those things where you were getting hit as you were in the act of throwing? Yeah, I just, you know, I'm not consciously thinking like, oh, let's see what, like, the analytical mind's not on right there. It's just kind of, you're, um, you know, I, I felt it and I just spit it out there. Now, I did that earlier in the game, or later, and I, I don't know, we gave him the ball, and it was a terrible play, but I just kind of felt Pat was there, and I tried to get it to him, and I wasn't thinking, oh, let's do something crazy, but, you know, I make a horrible play there. And for me, coming back to the serenity prayer, God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things that I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. That was in uh, a locker at Notre Dame, one of my teammates, and it was shared with me here after one of our hard losses. And, I think that sums it up. You can't change certain things, but you can change. Right? But there are things you can change. And for the rest of the year, I hope that we just focus on what we can, can change and leave the rest to God. Well, at least you had some semblance of a ground game, and how much of a difference did that make today? Uh, yeah, that's huge. That's huge. And they got it, it running. It wasn't perfect all the time. There were times where they were stuffing us, but. We hit some big runs, and that helped so much, uh, just our whole offense. And I hope we just build on that because those guys are getting better every week, and they've, they've shown it. And we had Finn go down, and then George go down, and they didn't waver, and they just kept going. And those guys are battling, and they're going to keep battling. Seems like Joe Griffin's getting better every week, just what stands out with him right now. Yeah, that touchdown, I, I was going to throw the ball out of bounds, but the way he – you know, it was a pop pass. We thought he would just pop wide open, but he, they played good defense, and, and he boxed out. That's really what it was. It was like throwing to somebody posting up. He just had the guy, and I tried to give him a, a high ball, and he just made that play. You've been without some of those explosive plays that you guys sort of became known for as an offense last year, but this week they seemed to come back. What changed from the last couple of weeks to this week that brought back, brought back those long gains? Uh, I'm not sure. I don't know. I mean, we're, we're working. We're, we have uh, certain plays up each week, and some weeks you're going to hit them, and some weeks you're not. And, you know, we just got to keep working and trying to find that time. We, we spent a little bit of extra time this week, Zay and I, working after practice on deep balls specifically. So how important is it that some of the young guys like Joe and Alex have stepped up and, and they're starting to carve out roles for themselves? How important is that for you guys offensively? It's huge. Like, they're growing up quick. All these young guys, they're growing up quick. It's hard to be an 18-year-old, 19-year-old, and get thrown in, the, in there playing against 22-year-olds. But uh, these guys, these young guys are just stepping up. A lot of guys, offensively, defensively, they're stepping up, and they're, they're uh, yeah, they're growing up quick. So what can this win do for this team going forward, just mentality-wise? I'm not sure. I think we'll see. Um, could be really big. I hope we build off of it. So we've all seen fans storm the field before, but I've never seen the team actually <laughs> go over to the fans and embrace them at the end of the game. What was that all about? I have no idea. I think <laughs> that, I mean, I, I didn't think that the, the, that the fans would go into the field, but I think people were a little riled up. I've, just, I've never seen that before with uh, taking a knee, having to call, call it all back, and I mean, that was ridiculous. How big is that for Connor Lytton to have that field goal go in? I know kind of a rough start to the season, but for that one to go in. That is huge. That is huge. And he showed, what was he, two for two today? And he won the game for us. So, you know, that guy, he's got it mentally. It's mental toughness right there. All set.